Meantime, angel investor Jason Calacanis vehemently opposes Prop F. He joins us this morning from One Market in San Francisco. Jason, it's good to see you again. Yeah, it's great to be back. Uh, yeah, pretty controversial issue. Yeah, what's your take on it? Well, it's pretty obvious that, you know, this is something that's been put together as a ballot measure as opposed to sort of the city managing the issue by the hotel lobby. Those are the people behind this. And what they're really trying to do is punish um, and really try to ankle uh, the innovation that an Airbnb brings to the table. It's very punitive in um, terms of when somebody violates the law here, they can get a $1,000 fine, and that is payable to their neighbors. So your neighbors are going to be turned on each other to try and, you know, rat on each other, basically, for doing Airbnb. And there's already an office of Airbnb um, or an office of short-term rentals in San Francisco, as Scott correctly pointed out, and there's already legislation here. What this one is trying to do is really sneaky stuff, and this is where ballot measures are particularly um, ridiculous um, way to govern, because once you set a ballot measure, you can't change it at all. And what this one does is, oh, if you rent over 75 days, you have to take your listing off of Airbnb. It's specifically designed to make Airbnb and other services like that, VRBO, HomeAway, right. um, it's specifically designed to make them less appealing to consumers. So it's obvious what's happening. It's not going to pass. And if it does pass, it's going to be met by uh, the wrath of San Francisco's hippie, anarchist, and technological <laughs> culture. So, so is this going to be sort of an Which Uber is, You don't want to be on the other side of that, by the right. way. <laughs> no, I understand. Um, but like Uber, and as they fight yeah. cities all around the globe, is Airbnb going to yeah. have to have this battle, or is there something specific to San Francisco? Is it specific to San Francisco? I mean, if you look, Paris has embraced, uh, Paris, of all places, embracing, uh, you know, um, sharing your home more than anybody. So when the French have accepted this more than the people of San Francisco, you know, something's at work, and that's just special interest. This is a special interest trying to crush something that is competing with hotels. And you know what? Hotels now have to actually think about the service they're providing because young people under 30, not the people who are on the air right now with microphones, but those, those millennials, they like staying at Airbnbs. None of us are going to stay in an Airbnb ever, but they love it. And it really is cutting into the hotel business. That's why Airbnb is a $20 billion company. And I don't think they're going to have a problem like this in many cities. I don't think it's going to pass here. Um, but, you know, San Francisco is an amazing thing to watch. As somebody, you know, who watched Manhattan turn into what it is today, you know, we're going through that same Manhattanization of San Francisco, and San Francisco has got a very laissez-faire, open attitude, you know, from the summer of love, combined with anarchists and combined with technologists who are using the city as their own petri dish to try experiments like Airbnb and ride-sharing and food on demand. Um, so it's just wild to watch it play out. Jason, what if the measure goes against them? You mentioned Paris. That's actually Airbnb's most important market. I don't know how big San Francisco is, but this is a company that operates all over the world. Do you think it'll impact yeah. them, and do you think it'll be significant to have this sort of legislation go in the wrong way? Actually, I'll, I'll, I think that if this passes, it'll be fantastic in the long term for Airbnb because it will expose exactly how corrupt the hotel lobbies are in trying to stop them, and it will make it a national and international issue that somebody who owns a home can't rent their home for a reasonable amount of time and has to face six months in jail. It's a ridiculous, you know, overshooting law. It's like the hotel industry sort of jumped the fence on this one and went way too aggressive. If it does pass, Airbnb is going to have the high ground for some time to come fighting for individuals' rights. And, you know, the city has tons of problems. The transportation here is a mess. The city is run by incompetent people. You know, if you come from New York and you had Bloomberg and Giuliani running the city, you would laugh living here at how incompetent it is uh, and how they run this city. It's just ridiculous. Um, and so this is going to, I think, uh, create, if it were to pass, it would literally create, you know, massive headlines as well as protests all over the place. Yeah. Um, so it's not going to pass. If it well, does, gonna... Airbnb <laughs> is going to get massive press. <laughs> we're... Tell us how you really feel. Everybody will know we're what an definitely... Airbnb is. We're definitely going to watch the returns, uh, as they say, Jason. Thanks again. Good to see you, Jason yeah. Calacanis. Good to see you, brother. When we